All right, welcome back. You just answered question number one with me. Now we're going to go through question number two. Question number two, what does the use of paragraph two show about why some money needs to be destroyed? We're picking two answers that are correct. So let's think about this for a second. The first thing I need to do is think about what this is asking me. It's asking me to look specifically at paragraph two and I want to know why they might have used paragraph two or what paragraph two shows us about why some money might need to be destroyed. So I need to decide, is this a big idea question or a supporting detail question? You know, a big idea question is a question that can be asked about any text and a supporting detail question is a question that can be asked about a specific text. Look at this graphic organizer and I want you to get ready to tell me, are we using one, a big idea, or two, a supporting detail question. Get ready to show me on your hands. Let's look back at the question. What does the use of paragraph two show about why some money needs to be destroyed? Big idea, so number one, or supporting detail, two. Think about it. Show me. You're right. This is a supporting detail question. If you got that, error high five. Good work. So now that we know it's a supporting detail question because it's talking about a specific point in this text, we can go back and we can figure out how we're supposed to answer it. So the thing I wanna look at now is it's a supporting detail question. We've already highlighted the inference that we're trying to prove. Check. Now we need to look at where it's asking us to go look in the text. It's asking us to look at paragraph two. So now that I know I need to go back to paragraph two, I need to read the section of the text that the question is talking about. That means I need to go back and reread paragraph two. After I do that, I'll be able to go through each answer choice and use my poke codes to eliminate them. So let's take a second. I went ahead and I snipped in paragraph two into the PowerPoint, that way we wouldn't have to go back and forth. Let me read it out loud for you. How money gets dirty. Paper money is handled by over a million people. The hands it touches have grease, food, and many other things on them. Some people even write on money. That is against the law. Yet people use pens and pencils that make messy marks on bills. After years of touching, the dollar bill gets very soiled. So let's go back to our question. I need to figure out what the use of paragraph two shows about why some money needs to be destroyed. So let's go through each answer choice now. A, some money needs to be destroyed because it will make food dirty if it touches the food. Not true. Paragraph two didn't say anything about money making food dirty. It talked about how people, when they eat food and they get it on their hands and then touch money, the money gets dirty. That's not true. B, some money needs to be destroyed because people get grease on their hands from food. Mm, this one's not really relevant. The idea that if I eat food, I can get grease in my hands, that's not relevant to why some money needs to be destroyed. The reason why some money would need to be destroyed is if I then took the grease on my hands and put it on the money that I was touching. This isn't relevant to the specific question that it's asking. It's not detailed enough. Letter C, some money needs to be destroyed because new money is printed to replace it. Hmm, this one also seems not super relevant. I'm trying to figure out what the use of, what does the use of paragraph two show about why some money might need to be destroyed. This one is really talking about it being destroyed because they need new money. That's not why it's destroyed. It's destroyed because it's really dirty and gross. Some money needs to be destroyed because writing on it is against the law. Hmm. Well, the paragraph two did talk about how writing on some of this uh, money was against the law and that that was a reason why it should be destroyed. So I'm going to leave a little question mark there. I'm going to come back to that answer choice. E, some money needs to be destroyed because it has touched many people's dirty hands and gets soiled. Well, I remember that word soiled means dirty. So this is saying that paragraph two is telling us that it needs to be destroyed because it gets really dirty from people touching it with their hands. That might also be true. Let's keep going. 
some money needs to be destroyed because it has messy marks on it. Well, it got messy marks on it because people were writing on it. And just because it has like maybe one messy mark doesn't mean that it's enough for it to get destroyed. So that one also doesn't seem very relevant to the question that's being asked. Here I saw that I needed to pick two answers that were correct. The two answers that I've selected as correct are both D and E. These are two answers that are showing what the use of paragraph two tells us about why some money might need to be destroyed. We've answered question two. So now it's your job. Go and scroll down in the rest of this form. You're going to tell me, was it a big idea or a supporting detail question? And give me the two correct answers. See you in the next one.